Hey fellow travelers, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm sharing my simple approach to travel journaling using my trusty traveler's company, traveler's notebook, and passport size. It has been my go-to travel journal for over 5 years now, and its camel leather has aged beautifully with each journey. Before we dive into the setup, let me take you on a quick journey with my traveler's notebook. It has been a constant companion and its portable size makes it perfect for the on-the-go journaling. The scuffs and marks on the camel leather tell stories of past adventures making it a cherished travel memento. Of all my journals and planners, this one remains my favorite and holds a truly special place in my heart. It has accompanied me on adventures everywhere from weekend road trips to overseas vacations. Even though I switch out my journals seasonally, this Passport TN is a steady staple. It's still the perfect portable size for writing on planes, trains, and cafes, and hotels during trips. In the past, I used to bring a ton of stationary supplies, stamps, stickers, washies, you name it. But when on trips, I'd barely touch most of the supplies I brought. I'd be too busy exploring, so by the end of an active day of travel, I didn't have the energy to get crafty in my journal. Can you relate? How many of you have lugged around travel journal supplies that went unused? Plus, Bringing all that stationery around added unnecessary weight in my bag. So through trial and error, I realized less is truly more when it comes to travel journaling. I pre-decorate a few pages lightly with some stamps, stickers, and washi tape before trips and focus on jotting down all the little details and memories while traveling. Then, I can embellish and decorate to my heart's content once I'm home with all my supplies readily available or I actually keep a separate scrapbook style travel journal. Once I return home, this is where I get crafty and creative, documenting the trip in scrapbook form to accompany my written account in the passport DN. I'd print out all my photos from the trip and then thoughtfully curate them along with the ticket stubs, brochures, and other memorabilia into my standard TN insert. So keeping the writing separate from the scrapbooking allows me to be fully present in each moment while traveling. I can journal daily without distractions and then reminisce later as I craft the scrapbook companion journal. For me, it's the perfect way to capture all the beautiful memories of my trip. Going back to my simple travel journal kit, now I stick to only the essentials. My notebook, a pen, and maybe a few highlighter stickers, sticky notes, stencils, and washi tape samples. My journal kit is streamlined and I don't waste supplies I will not realistically use. I realize that travel journaling should enhance your experience, not become a chore. So join me as I walk through my simplified travel journal setup 
and prepare my travel journal kit for an upcoming adventure to Hanoi. Now let's look inside my TN. Inside the traveler's notebook camel passport size, you'll find a clear pocket insert and one notebook refill which can either be a traveler's company or a Muji notebook. These are two brands of passport size refills that I normally use. Also, inside the TN is a Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebook sticker release insert. I'll put the links of the products in the description box below in case you're interested. For my upcoming trip to Hanoi, I'll be using this Muji dotted paper insert from my previous trip. It already has writings from my last trip to Tokyo, so I'll simply pick up where I left off. The first page of the notebook serves as an index page allowing me to easily locate the contents following the bullet journal method. For example, my last trip was Tokyo in 2023. So I wrote here Tokyo 2023 and the corresponding page numbers where the entries are written. So for my upcoming trip, I'll write Hanoi 2024 and the starting page of the entry. As mentioned earlier, I like to pre-decorate pages lightly with stickers, stamps, or washi tape before the trip. This way, I can focus on writing while traveling. For this Hanoi trip, let's decorate the cover page together using some of my travel theme supplies. I'll create a mini collage using this lovely sticker that says, On the way you travel, you experience people in different cities, different rhythms of life like a new feast. I'll also use a craft paper with a dotted pattern to give it a fun textured look.
Next, I'll be adding this adorable Lalayina girl sticker. To title the page, I'll use these alphabet stickers to spell out Hanoi in a whimsical font. To finish it off, I'll embellish with this postal stamp inspired stickers from Swatelier. The layered sticker and textures make for a playful eye catching cover page to kick off my Hanoi adventure. Moving on, the next page will be dedicated to my itinerary. To title this section, I'll use this tiny alphabet stamps from Studio G that I got from Michaels a long time ago, along with the Versa Magic chalk ink in the color hint of pesto. I'll stamp out the word itinerary at the top. Then using a midliner highlighter in pastel pink, I'll trace a box around the word to make it pop. Below that, using this Pentel Energel Klena Black Gel Pen, I'll write out my daily schedule, such as flights, accommodations, activities, and transportation, all organized day by day for the trip. The itinerary provides an easy reference point to see what's happening each day.
I like to keep the embellishment simple by just stamping one stamp in the corner of each page. The vintage looking stamps add a subtle travel touch without overwhelming the page. Stamping lightly in advance creates a nice framework without distracting from the writing and memories during the trip. I'll do a quick flip through to show how the stamp pages look for my Hanoi journal spreads. Just a small repetitive touches like this creates cohesion without requiring much time. Next up is an expenses tracker section. I'll use the same alphabet stamps and pastel pink mid liner to title this page expenses, just like I did for the itinerary. I'll box the title using the highlighter again to make it consistent. Then I'll allocate two pages to log my spending on the trip. Tracking spending also provides a nice snapshot of what I did each day based on the purchases. Using the consistent page title style ties this section visually with the previous ones for a cohesive look. The remaining pages are reserved for daily journal entries. This format allows me to capture each day's experiences in a simple and organized manner. My favorite pen to bring during trips is the Pentel Energel Clena Gel Pen in 0.5mm black ink. I also always pack an extra black pen as a backup. Next, I'll bring three midliner highlighters, which I use to highlight the date and mark keywords such as places I visited, foods I ate, and other important moments. The colors help these details stand out. I'll also bring some stencils for easy lettering and drawing icons in my journal. Specifically, I have the Traveler's Company Brass Template Bookmark Stencil that has the alphabet. This is great for quickly adding titles with nice lettering. I also have the Hobonichi icon stencil which has tiny icons to decorate with. So for example, I can use the icons to draw a little plane, train, car, and more to illustrate my travel adventures. 
the stencil save time and add a nice creative touch without having to do full artistic illustrations. They are small and portable so they won't take up much room in my travel journal kit. I like using them to spice up my daily pages. Next, I'll carry only a few stickers, washi tape samples, and sticky notes in case I want to add more decorations while traveling. This sticker release paper by Traveler's Company comes in handy to temporarily adhere stickers and washi tape strips that I can later peel off and use in my journal. Then, I'll tuck some blank sticky notes into the clear pocket inside my TN. The sticky notes are great for jotting down quick thoughts, memories, or to-do lists that I can paste into my journal later. So having a few versatile decorative supplies enables creativity without weighing down my carry-on, while the release paper keeps everything organized. These provides a portable, Lightweight Journal Kit for Simple Embellishing on the Go Now that my Traveler's Notebook is set up, I'll pack the supplies inside this beige Delphonics Utility Pouch in this small size. I like personalizing my pouch with animal pins and patches, like this souvenir pin from the Traveler's Factory in Arita, a plain pin, and an adorable Pekka Chan patch. This trimline travel journal kit allows me to travel light and be fully immersed in my travel experiences. I hope these tips below help you create a simple portable travel journal kit. Let me know below if you have any other questions. Safe travels and happy journaling!